Okay, this is part five of the 4060E slash 700R4 transmission rebuild. Uh, here I'm just, uh, I'm cleaning off the transmission case. And uh, I already went through the whole thing with a wire, a wire wheel on a drill to get rid of all the dirt and stuff on it. And this is just getting into the little crevices that I couldn't get into with the wire wheel. <coughs> uh, now this is, uh, I'm masking the valve body. Uh, I kind of cut through here. I didn't really have much to mask it with, so I was just sort of grabbing whatever I could find. Uh, but it still works. Just make sure you clean those surfaces or else the tape will not stick at all. So I'm masking the tail end. Painting. <clears throat> I should probably be wearing a mask, but I didn't feel like I wanted to get one, so... Just be careful. This is the tail housing. Painting it the same color. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this is where I needed to get a special tool. Uh, I installed it already to compress the spring assembly in the case. Uh, basically, you'll see it when I take it out. And now I'm taking out the snap ring. You need to compress the spring with the tool and then remove the snap ring. <clears throat> and the tool just consists of one really long bolt, uh, a plate on the back, and uh, this sort of uh, bell-shaped, see right there, to push down the spring. <clears throat> I'm going to take it out right now, and I'm going to show it to you. Had to buy it, went to eBay. There wasn't any other way to do it without it. That's all it is. You could probably even make one. Uh, taking out the spring assembly and now I'm just gonna flip it over use compress there to push out the piston the lower first piston there it goes there we go and uh, I kind of had a hard time taking it out and it kind of fell yeah <laughs> well, I should turn my volume down when I'm doing the voiceover now I'm just uh, cleaning the case out on the inside Use lots of brake clean. <clears throat> this is the low reverse piston that I just removed. I'm just going to replace two seals on it. Uh, a pick is one of the most useful tools in rebuilding transmissions. Picks come in handy so often, especially for removing seals. <clears throat> there's really no other way. Well, I guess I shouldn't say there's no other way, but it's very difficult without a pick. So you just take out the two seals, match them up with the ones in the rebuild kit, put the new seals on. There's the uh, smaller seal, now I'm doing the larger one. Now, uh, this is the 2-4 uh, apply servo. I'm just going to take it apart. There's the snap ring. And uh, take out the piston inside the outer cover. And just remove everything. This the apply pin has a is uh, held in by a snap ring. And then you just take out the snap ring, and the pin slides right out. Along with the washer and the spring. So now that everything's apart, <coughs> it's time to replace all the seals. So again, get the pick and just uh, take off all the seals. All these seals are 
or not all of them, some of the seals are seals that do not close all the way around. They have a uh, an edge that's cut and you have to put the two halves together. And what I like to do is put uh, Vaseline right where they go together just so it holds them together. Uh, Vaseline's a really good lubricant to use when assembling a transmission because it will dissolve when it gets hot. Uh, don't use any type of grease because it will not dissolve and it will get clogged. It will clog things. But Vaseline is good. It holds things in place and it will dissolve. <clears throat> so just match up the uh, O-rings here. They're the same color. This is the uh, the cover to this servo. I'm gonna take the seal off now, but I'm gonna paint it so I don't I don't uh, put the new seal in right away. It's, I just put it off to the side to paint. <clears throat> These are more of those uh, seals that aren't closed. These sealing rings. Lots of transmission rebuilding is just replacing seals. Because a lot of the times that's what goes when the transmission goes. It's just the seal gets bad. Again, I'm putting Vaseline where the two, where the two uh, points go together on the sealing ring. And uh, doing the same thing for the bottom smaller one. Now this is the apply pin, just lubing it up. It's always good to lubricate everything, and again, Vaseline is really good. Putting the uh, snapping back on, along with the spring and the washer. And now uh, it's just a matter of putting everything together. And again, I'm gonna put the uh, the uh, outer housing on later because I'm painting it. So now we're moving on to the uh, reverse input drum. Let's start by inspecting it and uh, we're going to start here with the piston. Remove the two piston seals. Make sure the lip of the seal is facing the same direction as when you take it off. It has to be facing down towards the bottom of the drum when you put it in. Here's the outer one. Now do the inner one. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so now I'm resurfacing this drum. Uh, the way you do it is you go in a crosshatch pattern, uh, go one direction and then do the other direction and then go straight around. Uh, so go diagonally one direction, then diagonally in the other direction and then go straight around. And I did this twice and it made a really nice resurface. It looks 100% better than what it was. The band actually got fused to the drum because it was it heat up so much and it just looks so much better. You can't even tell. Um, that's what happened. Alright, thanks for watching. Go to part 6.